guys welcome to this course on NEET 2017 physics question and today is uh, this is the last lesson of this course and uh, we are yet about to discuss uh, some of the a few uh, some of the problems that appeared in NEET 2017 we are uh, today we'll discuss question number 41 to 45 that will be the last set of problem that appeared in NEET 2017 physics section okay and because this is now let us begin the first question for the day a Carnot engine having an efficiency of 1 by 10 as the heat engine efficiency is eta is given is used as a refrigerator if worked on on the system is 10 joule w is given 10 joule the amount of the energy absorbed delta q the amount of the energy absorbed from the reservoir at lower temperature is if you are very clear with your formula if you are very clear with your concept i'm sure you will hardly take hardly i'm saying this 20 seconds to solve this problem and if you are very fast with your calculation you can do it up to 10 second now let us look at the solution you will be amazed okay how what is um, like so, so such a small solution to this problem what is eta if you are uh, well versed with your formulas eta is equal to delta q by w that is eta is the efficiency eta is given as 1 by 10 that is 0.1 work done is given 10 joule all we need to find was delta q delta q is 0.1 into 10 that is 1 joule simple answer fourth and fourth option this was the problem okay not all the questions are of the same level some are very easy so our target must be to solve them first next question a gas mixture consists of two moles of o2 and four moles of argon at temperature t neglecting all the vibrational mode okay all the vibrational mode the total in, uh, internal energy of the system is this is a diatomic gas this is monatomic gas so we will have different degree of freedom for both the gases now let us look at the solution okay what is the formula for the total internal energy the internal energy is n by 2 f r t n is 2 moles given f that is degree of freedom is 5 for oxygen since it is diatomic okay r is r and divided by 2 and t is t okay so that will lead to 5 rt now for argon if you are calculating n is 4 mole that is given okay degree of freedom will become 3 because it is monatomic gas okay rt remains same divided by 2 that will become 6 rt so total energy of the system will become this plus this that is 5RT plus 6RT that is 11RT okay that is the third option again a very 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 easy problem next question an arrangement of the three parallel uh, straight wires placed perpendicular to the plane of paper carrying the same current I along the same direction is shown, uh, is shown in the figure magnitude of the force per uh, unit length on the middle wire B is given as so this is the scenario okay these three are the uh, parallel straight wires they are placed perpendicular to the plane carrying the same current i along the same direction okay so this is asking what will be the magnitude of the force experienced by b obviously the current is flowing in the same direction so it will feel attraction a force of attraction towards c and toward uh, a so uh, this will be the figure okay it it will it will feel force of attraction towards c and toward a so net will net resultant will come in this direction so now let us see how to solve this problem okay so this is the situation the angle is 90 degree this is the distance t and d between these two what is the formula for force per unit length that is experienced uh, by the wire uh, two straight uh, current carrying wire placed upon a distance r that is mu naught i1 if i1 is the current in one wire and i2 is the current in second wire mu naught i1 i2 upon 2 by r, r is the distance uh, uh, at which both the wires are kept so here we are having the same both the current uh, both the carrying the same current, uh, current that is i 
okay so this i1 i2 becomes i square the distance is not r that is uh, d that is given here so this become d so force per unit and f upon l is equal to mu naught i square upon 2 pi d now this is the force in one direction this much force okay this much force again in another direction and both will have the same magnitude because the parameters are same so f and f and this two direction will give the resultant as root to f in this uh, this direction that is a simple vector concept okay and that is the resultant vector will come in this uh, direction with the uh, resultant forces root to f so f net by l is equal to root 2 times uh, the force in one direction that is f by l so multiplying this with root 2 okay so this this will cancel and this will become root 2 so we are having the final expression as v naught i square root 2 pi d okay v naught i square root 2 pi d that is the third option okay now let us look at next problem okay so this is from uh, youtube with uh, both ends open to the atmosphere okay both are open to the atmosphere is partially filled with water this is water oil which is immiscible with water this is oil is poured into one side until it stands at a distance 10 meter above the level of water on the other side this is the level of water and it is standing 10 mm above the water level meanwhile the water rises by 65 mm this is the rise 65 mm from its original uh, original level see the diagram the density of the oil uh, very very easy problem if you are applying uh, the concept of pressure at two points and comparing them uh, like if you are uh, analyzing this at point B and point C and then applying the formula for the pressure at point B and point C we'll, we can easily solve this problem now let us look at the solution okay this is the scenario up to level B to level D okay water is filled water was filled okay when they poured the oil now this water level increased to this E point that is the final water level that is 65 meter above and the difference between the final water level and the initial water uh, initial level of the oil that is point A and A is uh, the, dis uh, the distance is 10 mm the difference okay so now we will apply the pressure at uh, the pressure due to oil column at point B and point C will analyze that okay that will P naught that is the atmospheric pressure plus 10 that is we are finding H rho G is the formula for the pressure okay what is H uh, at the point if we are looking at point uh, C what will the pressure uh, 10 plus 65 plus 65 okay 10 plus 65 plus 65 rho uh, that is rho we know okay whatever it will be and g uh, g that is the gravitational constant okay rho g this is 10 for part b i'm saying this is 10 this is 65 this is 65 we don't know the rho that is that is what we have to find okay the density of the oil g for this part now look at this part for this uh, p naught will be the atmospheric pressure now we don't have any pressure due to this air column because this is just a air column okay the, that that was of 10 mm so this is not counted here only the pressure due to water will be here so 65 plus 65 that is 130 okay plus rho we know for the water 10 to the power 3 and g g and g will cancel out and if we'll solve this uh, whole no problem we'll get the value of rho as 130 upon 140 into 10 to the power 3 that is nearly 928 kg per meter cube that is third option okay so now last question I hope this is the last question okay this is the last question for the day okay yet again a theoretical question so we must be alert while solving okay which of the following certain statements are correct the center of the mass of a body always coincide with the center of gravity of the body 
okay second statement central of mass of a body is the point at which the total gravitational torque on the body is zero these two are only possible when when that is uniform when the gravitational field is uniform this is true when first part is true when the gravitational field is uniform so this option is eliminated now what is happening with the second part the central mass center of the mass of the body okay is a point at which the total gravitational torque of the body is zero this is also true only when the uniform gravitational field is present but one more condition is that the center of gravity coincide with center of mass under the uniform gravity so there is one point when if it is a uniform if it is a uniform gravitational field then the center of gravity will coincide with center of mass so we are uh, so this op this option is in doubt okay so we'll keep it as such now next option a couple on a body produce both translational and rotational motion in the body no it doesn't net uh, in a couple net force is zero so it can't produce translation uh, translational motion it only produce the rotational motion so this option is directly eliminated a and c are directly eliminated okay and last question uh, last option mechanical advantage uh, greater than one means small efforts can be used to lift a large load now what is the formula for mechanical advantage that is load upon effort okay now load upon effort it is saying that it is greater than one so load is greater than effort okay so yes this option is correct because a small effort can be used to now lift a large load okay so t is correct now let us see in which option d is correct okay in this but we found that up till now only a b a, a and c were uh, fully wrong okay b was in doubt now we are have uh, we can't take third option because c is totally incorrect we know that so this is out of the context now we are having only b and d now in this situation we have to take b uh, b also as the answer otherwise if we are strictly looking uh, at the theoretical point then b won't be the answer because it is too vague it is too vague we don't know whether the gravitational field is uniform or not but we are uh, supposing that at one point of time if it is uh, gravitational uh, field is uniform then it will coincide it will coincide so having uh, kept uh, having this point kept in mind we will take b also as answer so the option become b and d this was theoretical question so it was quite difficult uh, to uh, deduce uh, this uh, b part but rest all were easy so thank you guys uh, for watching this uh, lesson and this course i hope you enjoyed this uh, course i'll come with uh, i'll come up with more course on uh, physics uh, and on neat so stay tuned and this is my id on an academy please do rate review and share because padega india tabhi to padega india thank you